Yeah, it's great. Yeah, it's really unexpected. Like I was, I was coming open to get a medal and to win it is pretty unbelievable. Yeah. Were you happy with your shape in the last couple of weeks? Yeah, definitely. Like uh, the pretty, I had, a, I had a good break and then a good build up of training and some good racing and stuff the last few weeks. I was at uh, Stair Electro last week. A good five days of you know tough racing, a lot of riding on the front and lead outs and stuff. So yeah, I'm, obviously I'm happy now where, where I am and looking forward to the rest of the season really. Can you talk about the conditions out there tonight? That wasn't actually too bad. Like I rode around the circuit yesterday and it was pretty windy and pretty grim. Like today, obviously it was wet and a little bit cold, but that ah, was all right. You know, it's. I think it, it was good because it was stayed, the conditions stayed the same throughout the race and you know it wasn't really some guys got lucky, some guys didn't. It was the same all day, so that yeah, was it was good. Yeah. You won the road race last season and got to wear the jersey th this year, so how do you feel going into that on Sunday? Yeah, obviously from winning last year, I had confidence and then you know to go and win today has given me even more confidence really and like as I said, I'm happy where I am now and I just need to go in and I don't want to put too much pressure on myself on Sunday. I'm just going to treat it as just another race really, so we'll see how it uh, pans out. How's that course for you? I haven't looked at it yet, but I've seen a few of the roads around here and there's not much flat, so I, I like it. Like it's these type of roads, I think it's pretty similar to last year, you know, up and down and heavy. and So, uh, so yeah, pretty excited. There's three other Pro Tour riders and um, competing in also the Sean Kelly team. Uh, is there anybody in particular that you're wary about? Uh, obviously the pros are going to be the strong guys, but you know there's still a few of the amateur guys as well who are going to need to look out for. But to be honest, I think in a race like Sunday you need to look out for everyone. Like there's, there's probably 50 guys who could be in the race, so just need to make sure I, uh, I stay in the front again, and you know I'm not in a position where I need to chase. I want to try and ride a similar race to last year. After this then, what's the schedule like? Yeah, well I go, I'm back in England for a few days, recovery, and then I go to Tour of Austria. And then uh, San Sebastian, Hamburg, Plue, and then I do Enico Tour, and then Tour of Britain, and hopefully the World Championships. It, the news emerged yesterday that the team is looking for a sponsor for next season. So how's the mood within HCC High Road? Yeah, you know, I think it's been everyone's known for a while that we don't have a sponsor for next year so far. But obviously, it's affecting us all. You know, we a few guys like not just the riders, the staff, and everyone. You know, we don't really know if we're going to have jobs next year. So it's you know it's starting to get a little bit nervous and a little bit stressy. But you know, we as bike riders just need to keep doing what we do and keep winning races really in the team and hope that the people behind the background are you know, doing their jobs and going to pull something off hopefully. Does that give the team extra motivation for the Tour de France you think that, that they're looking for a sponsor for next year and it gives them an opportunity to show what they can do? I don't think they can find any more motivation that the guys already have you know they go into the race every year it's, it's the biggest thing on the planet you know as cycling goes and as you see every year they win they win a lot there so I don't think they need any more motivation than they already have. We have enough. Finally, you know Mark Cavendish quite well, so what sort of condition is he in now? Yeah, I spoke to him a bit last week and uh, he says he's in pretty good condition, I think. And I think uh, they had a tough week in Tour of Swiss last week and had some good hard racing, so I think he's going to be in good shape like for the first, first week for sure. So, yeah, we'll see.